The Bible is generally associated with religion, but it has much to say about what we call science. Science is knowledge based on experiment and or observation. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble and Albert Einstein conclusively demonstrated that the universe had a beginning. But their findings were met with vehement opposition. Why? Because it corresponded with the first verse in the Bible, in the beginning. It was electromagnetic radiation that initiated creation. The universe was filled with light, says Weinberg in his first three minutes. Astrophysicist Robert Jastrow thought scientists should recognise the Bible got this right. Day one of creation, let there be light. Space is not empty, but as an expanding fabric. The Bible states that God stretched out or spread out the heavens like a curtain stretching out a fabric. Universal laws can only come from a creative mind and intelligence. The Bible describes them as the ordinances of heaven and earth. The fact that there are rules at all is a kind of miracle, says Feynman in his book The Meaning of It All. The Encyclopedia Britannica under the heading of Thermodynamics tells us that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Similarly matter neither created nor destroyed. It's fixed. The Bible indicates a fixed quantity of matter and energy in the universe. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, it says. In Britannica we read it was only after the dawn of the space age that the conception of earth as a roughly spherical planet rather than as a flat entity was really verified. But the Bible described the earth as a sphere thousands of years ago. Fossils show an abrupt appearance of species rapidly buried in flood sediments. The Bible describes a global flood. The fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. All organisms and the components of a living cell are interdependent, so must have appeared simultaneously and rapidly together. Check out Veith's The Genesis Conflict. The Bible states this, that all things appeared simultaneously and rapidly together, as we read in Genesis 1. DNA is a chemical language. It is the coded information in the cell of an organism which strictly specifies all the traits handed on to its offspring. The Bible states that all organisms reproduce offspring only after their own kind. To imagine that any creature can evolve into a different kind is an unscientific fantasy. Long before our discovery of X and Y chromosomes that determined gender, the Bible stated God created man in his own image, male and female created them. Louis Pasteur established the law of biogenesis, life can only come from life, never from dead, inanimate material. The Bible describes our creator as the living God, in him was life. What about human population? Let's say that 500 humans survived the suggested Ice Age catastrophe. 19,195,000 years ago. Human population reached 7 billion in 2011. Therefore, on average, the human population only doubled 8214 years. This is an absurd figure. No modern birth control aids, and the population has doubled every 139 years since 1500 AD. But according to the Bible, eight people survived the flood. The world population, 7 billion, population has doubled on average 147 years. This makes sense. So in Romans chapter 1 we read, Ever since God created the world, his invisible qualities, both his eternal power and his divine nature, have been clearly seen. They are perceived in the things that God has made. 